And welcome back, guys, to XCOM Enemy Within, the uh, Long War playthrough. We are joined on Operation Vengeful Tears with Parasite Lord, my engineer, Kefka Plaza, rookie, King Daddy D Mac, our sniper, Mabuchi, rookie, Sertuna, rookie, and Orion, my gunner. So we're going to this this map first off. Let's uh, let's try to find Meld here. That'll be the first thing we want to look for. None on the bottom floor, it looks like. I don't know why I'm looking that way. <laughs> Let's go to the next rung here. Oh, there's Meld right there. Now that it's kind of bad positioning, but or poor positioning rather, but. Is that all we have? Just that one canister. There's another one down there in the end. So here's why that's kind of t kind of bad position. Let me get back over here and zoom out for a second. Let's look at this whole map. So this map is kind of um, cordoned off in two sections. You have the bottom section that is covered with cars and lots of explodable terrain. There's a little bit of half cover over here, full cover position here, but you can't really make use of that very well. Um, in the most, for the most part, everything can be blown up. Uh, if I take cover on this car or this van, they could blow up on me. Uh, this truck. Now we're definitely probably not going to get contact around here. But going for the stair, if I want to get up and get this melt, that's where I'm going to want to go. And the thing is, is getting up to the stair, I have to move to this position, which is going to reveal any aliens that are in this pocket. So what we really need to do, you know, moving up here shouldn't be too big of an issue. There's not very many places they can run to in this area. And over here, we're likely to get contact anyway. Um, getting up to here is going to be what we need to do, but I'm wary of one. You know, I'm, I'm wary of any contact that'll be in this pocket here. So we're probably going to want to scan off to this side, see if it's safe. If we make contact, we'll have to deal with that. Uh, if we don't, if there's none over here, we'll make the move up to the uh, to the top to get that meld. Likely not going to get this one in the corner. We might get this one, but we'll see how it plays out. So first thing I'm going to do, I have two battle scanners, I believe. Yes. Okay. So let's go with my sniper first. We'll throw her up into... Actually, we probably should move up a rookie first to uh, take a look and make sure this is going to be safe. I almost... Let's, let's move Tuna. Yes, Commander. Okay, so we're good. We're good there. Now I'm going to get my sniper up to this position, and this is where we're going to throw the scanner from. So we want to know if there's contact in this direction get a good one here. That's a pretty good scan. That ought to reveal anything up in this area, so yeah, that's pretty good. Let's toss it there. Let's see what we got. No contact. So we're good. We're we're good to move up on this meld then. So we're gonna get we're gonna get started on that pretty quickly here. I'm rolling. Pull Parasite Lord across. Okay. Kefka. Just come around here a little slow. It's okay. Orion. Oh, it's not where I wanted to move you, but that's that'll do. Let's get you moving up right about there. Now it is possible I'll get some contact here. Okay. Let's get everybody just moving up these stairs. Moving. As quickly as we possibly can. Moving out. So Parasite Lord is going to have grenades covered. Do you want to get uh, over this position? And that's the turn. Listen. So here we go. Wow, what is with that movement? What in the heck just happened? That's not even fair. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what the heck was that? Oh my gosh. Did you see that? Did you see that shit? What the hell? From here down to here, there has to be some kind of teleportation bug, but I mean... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that was just... Oh man, that was good. Okay, so... <laughs> Alright, so we have drones on our flank now. That's That's great. Um, oh man. Uh, well, if we can clear them out, what kind of shot do you have, King Daddy? Not on those. You you can't see the other one? Why can't you see this one? Really? You don't have a shot on that one? 
Oh, Ryan does. That's kind of odd, actually, that King Daddy doesn't have a shot on this one over here. I'm a little confused about that, but uh, that's okay. I don't want to move up any further this direction, though. That's that's a given with these uh, with these drones. Now I could pull my engineer back and take care of them. So they're really they're really not that terrible of a deal. In fact, I might just do that just because. I mean, I do need to get kills on my rookies, though. This drone's gonna be a pain. I can already tell. So let's. Uh, where can I move you though? This drone can flank you any way it wants to. Could get you up there. Oh man, <laughs> this is too much. Okay. All right, so we're gonna toss a grenade here. Let's get it. Try to get it right in the middle of both of them. Do as much damage as we can. That'll do. Right on the line. And that one is going to be bothersome. Tuna, on my way. let's get you moving up. I know you're going to be flanked by that other one, but hopefully it won't move too far up. 79 is pretty good. Kefka, this is actually poor. Um, hmm. If only my sniper could see that other one. I wouldn't have to worry too much about that. could bring Orion back to take care of it. Does anyone else have a grenade? You do, Kefka. Why don't you toss that? Probably should have moved you first, but it's alright. Okay, now Tuna should be able to take care of it, hopefully. He does have a carbine, so it may not kill. Ah, just the right amount of damage. The wizard does no more damage than it needs to. It always does the right amount. Okay, so we're going to get... Um, where can I move Kefka? Now, can you see that now? Why can you not? That's just... That's annoying me to be I armed. Like I'm going to have to steady. Orion, why don't you... Why don't you take your shot? Drones are pretty much immune to suppression. Cool. So there was no point in suppressing. These guys are gonna are in flank range though. I mean, if he comes around, I don't think they can, it can flank them though. So I might be safe to. All right, Mabuchi, why don't you just move here and you can just overwatch. Let's see what it does. So yeah, it is going for those flanks, but I don't think it's gonna have a shot on the other guys. The range might. Oh, it doesn't matter. Mabuchi's on top of it. And we've got more drones up top. They haven't revealed just yet, so it's a drone-heavy mission. Now, here's one thing I might be able to do with those drones. Is showing the beauty of an engineer here. Where were they? They're right about there. I could toss up a grenade and get them revealed right now, but then my engineer is flanked next turn. I think I'm just going to want to wait deal with it on the next turn. Let's get up near this ladder though for sure and see if there's anything down this right side. Okay, so we're good there. Orion, get up here and get ready to move up. Everybody else follows suit. Tuna, you can, you can dash up. King Daddy, why don't you move up here and uh, just chill and steady. Gosh, that tr those drones <laughs> dashed all the way. <laughs> it's still blowing my mind a little bit. All right, so now what we might want to do, might want to start thinking about, is getting a scan to see what we're about to run into. Can I get? I got a good scan right there. Because we are about to head up here and make contact. Scanners online. So let's see what we're going to run ourselves into here. Ooh, they moved away. That shoe, they're up there now. Let's get uh, let's get Mabuchi running up here. That's affirmative. See where they went. Visual on the good. Can you get the meld next turn? You can, and it's a good position to do so. So let's get everybody else coming up then. Headed there now. We don't want to go over to this side because I'm sure that's where those drones are at. So we're just gonna try to get everybody up into a position here where we can do Got something. 
there, so I don't want you to just run up on the edge. It's fine, King Daddy. Um, you are, you know, you could sit there, I guess, because if the drones fly up, you might have a shot, so we'll just keep you there for now. Yeah, they've moved to my left side, so I'm probably, yeah, there they are. Kill them. Kill as many as you can, guys. You're not killing them fast enough. I'll take it. So let's see what... It should only be... Three, okay. So they're right on top of me. Now, good news is I left uh, people in position to deal with this. Okay. King Daddy, what shots do you have? I got 64 on that. I'm going to actually take that first. Now, this other one here, on this side, I'm a little worried about. No matter where I move anyone here, it's going to be a flank. 67, huh? I could think about moving... Um, I need to get a grenade on this one, I'm thinking. This meld is going to go this turn, so if I can, I could grab it, but... I'd have to do it with Mabuchi, and that may reveal enemies in this locale, because the, the battle scanner is being blocked by this car, basically. Or I forgo the meld. I might have to, but we'll see what happens. Let's get... Um, Kafka, you don't really have a shot, do you? Oh, it's because uh, Parasite's blocking the way. Let's move her around this corner. Oh, no. What is with this drone-heavy mission? Shit! Alright, this is going to be really nasty. In fact, I could lose someone here if I don't play this out right, and I'm already not doing well at it. I want to kill some of these. I have a smoke grenade. I have an AP grenade. And I'm completely flanked on all sides. I don't want to move down further here in case there's more contact. This is Drone City. This has the potential to do quite a bit of damage, but I don't have Sapper, so it's not likely to kill. Still, I could get it started, but she would be flanked then. Kefka, you can't really do anything. We might have to dash back, to be honest. Dash back with Kefka and Orion and just forget the meld. Ah, it's unfortunate. Unless... see something I can do here. I'd have to reveal this direction. I'm on the move. Okay. Can you get that grenade I want? You can. You'll even hit the other one, so that's the grenade we're gonna go for. We're not gonna throw it just yet. Actually is that gonna hit any of my units? I don't think it said it would. That will. So this won't hit any of my units. So let's see if we could uh, toss this grenade up right here. Do a little bit of damage to that one that's liable to flank us. We're going to forget about these three. There's nothing we can do to them. <sighs> it's not the damage I needed, really. So you're going to stay where you're at. Actually, I do need you to start moving, but... Oh, this is a rough position. We're going to have to smoke it out, I think. And I'd, the problem is I don't know where I can put people in a position to do that. I killed one. Didn't notice I killed that one. This other one's definitely going to get flanked. Kill him. Ah, you're breaking my balls here. This is poor. I think Tuna is going to have to jump down here and smoke everybody. Otherwise, I don't think we're going to make this out. I mean, they are going to get flanked for sure. But I really don't know what else I can do in this position. Drone hacks, I swear. I could swing Kefka around and try to take a shot. Those guys are going to flank him, though. 
Parasite wouldn't reveal those guys, I'd be fine. That's another thing, Parasite can't really get to a good position either. Could try to hide her in here, but I don't think I think the AI would be too smart for that. This is rough. Gotta admit. I think the only thing I can do is come down here with Tuna. Smoke. My guys are definitely going to get flanked. And pull back with everyone else. Now, Parasite Lord, you're in the worst of positions, I feel. Because I can't get you anywhere that you're going to be safe. I mean, anywhere I move you, you're flanked, so... Maybe I should just roll the dice and toss a grenade, eh? Nah, that's suicide. I mean, I think the only thing I can do is move you this half cover and just hope that these three don't have the distance or the range to flank you, which I'm certain they do, but no matter what, I mean... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I don't think there's any other choice I have. Everywhere else is just... Kefka, you might as well take that shot and please hit it. Oh, no. Okay. Well, here comes the whore. Okay, so it's... Wasting a turn. Fair enough. Oh, it didn't flank me. It's repairing. Okay, I'll take that. This next turn, we're probably gonna... Okay, the wasting turns... I don't think they have the movement to flank me, thank goodness. This one might... No? They're bunching up. Here comes the shot! Okay. The AI is playing pretty stupid here. Here comes another shot, though. And we're good. And now... Yeah, yeah, the meld is gone, I get it. Okay. Now I should have a pretty good grenade on these guys. Assuming I can get Parasite into position. It should be right here. It's not the best grenade you've ever seen, but it's going to have to do. The other one's a little too high. Let's go for that. Hit all three of them. It's not going to do a lot of damage, but i got to start getting some damage on these guys. Okay. That's actually really good. It's pretty good damage. But now we need to think about these two. Mabuchi should be safe, really, to take a shot. She's going to have smoke for another turn here. So I think I'll take a shot on this guy. Nice. Okay, so one down. We have four remaining. King Daddy, can you do anything on this side? You could help work on that guy, but the other ones are just going to heal if I don't attack them. Might have a shot with Kefka around this corner. I do. Alright. So everybody's in a decent position now. If I could just kill this one, everyone should be flank proof for the most part. So let's go ahead and take that sniper shot. I mean, if it misses, it misses, but if I kill this guy... Come on, King Daddy. Ah, okay. They can't flank me the next turn, so really these three are probably going to repair each other. I really need to kill this one. Which means I need to get people in position to kill it. Tuna, you can move Affirmative. exactly where I wanted you to move. Fantastic. I'm pretty sure just... Ah, oh, but you can't hit. <laughs> that is not good. It's not. It's really not. I don't think Orion's going to have a shot from here, but I could... Uh, does, surprisingly enough. Everyone's in cover, though. Big damage. Ugh, no hit. I'll get him next time. Kefka. We need to start knocking these guys out, so... I'm not betting on that four damage. If you could just hit one of these guys, hit that closest one. Okay, we're gonna be hightailing it soon, because I have no ammo for this. And now that one's in smoke. We're not... Oh. And it missed. Thank you, Smoke. Land. That's it, land. Oh, we'll just fly from the gun. Okay. So now they're going to do the repair. I got another grenade coming for him, though. 
This one is moving in. There's the hit I didn't want to happen. And there goes the other melt, so. So that other one, it is not in smoke. Good. We want to kill this one so the other troops can support all these other three. Oh, but no one can hit it. But now we need to start thinking about this one. This guy is getting, he's in flank range now, so it's a bit dangerous. If I could kill this guy, this one right here, Tuna's out of ammo, so he's going to be useless this turn. Let's pull you back, reload. Let's do this. No matter what, someone's getting flank shot this turn. So please, Orion. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. Just reload. You'll face him next turn. We need to get people out of flank range here. Listen. I can't get Kepka anywhere truly safe. I've got a 39, a 50 to hit. Tell you what, Kepka. Let's roll the dice. Nice. Okay. Parasite, I know you're injured, but you've got to get this grenade. It's going to blow up all that cover. It doesn't matter. They don't need cover. There you go. All right. Now, as long as no one gets shot by this drone, I should be able to unload on it, and it wasted its turn. Excellent. So, excellent. Back in. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Roger the tracking. It's been a good mission. Bit odd, honestly, but it's been good. Okay, Tuna, you don't have a shot from there. Why don't you just move up where you're not going to get shot? Mabuchi, you're cool to take a shot, so why don't you go? And that's it. Yes. No longer a threat. Operational objectives completed. Whew. All right, so that was Operation Vengeful Tears. Uh, luckily, it didn't end in tears, um, but that drone pod just moving halfway across the map. I mean, that had to have been some kind of teleportation bug. I mean, I know I've seen that happen with battle scanners, but never on a reveal. That was that was something else. But we got in a bit, a bit of a situation moving up to get the meld and revealing those two drone pods. The full drone mission, that's, that's interesting. I can't remember if you get alloys for drones or not. I guess we'll find out. Let's get back to base. among the entire squad that takes a solid effort excellent so orion and king daddy are promoted to lance corporal perfect uh tuna mabuchi and kefka all gain uh promotion as well so that was a good mission Let's see six alloys okay so they do give uh alloys of course how many was that nine so three of them we blew up with grenades but that's okay kind of had to be done be in touch, commander. so we have th okay so we have 300 bucks now and we need to get building on that steam generator. What date is it? 18th of March. So yeah, what we're going to do here, I'm going to sell enough meld to get me up to that price. So we need 50 bucks. I'd have to sell all of my meld. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's do 28. That's 11. That's less drones than I really want to sell. So 38. I'll do that. I'll give away 10 meld for 5 drones. That sounds good. I'm receiving you. Yeah. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO. You know, actually, we'll get more flight computers later on. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to actually sell the flight computer. 4 meld and 2 drones. That's a little bit more. That'll keep things kind of equal. We'll get more flight computers. I'm not worried about that. But now we have the 350 to get our steam generator up and running. Or thermo generator. And pretty much on our way. So next month we're going to be able to get our uplink, satellites, repair bay, and foundry is what I'm looking to get. If I can get enough money to get something else before the end of the month, that would be perfect. 
Are they wounded? Nobody's wounded. We've been having a having a good run so far. Xenobiology finishes in two days, so let's uh scan on. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuro... Close range? Close range. And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate Bradford with it. in the it. back scratching not his head. Worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. <laughs> I love that one. All right. So alien biology is complete. We got the targeting module and alien containment. We're not going to be building that for a while. What's up next? So uh, I think I'm going to go with weaponry to get scopes, then probably stop over alien materials, then get beam lasers. That's what I'm planning. The technology has a number of potential applications. I'm sure the Better. science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as we have something significant to report. Alright, so targeting modules just basically increase your crit, uh, which I'm not too worried about. Let's go to our hangar. Two days I'm going to prepare for that. Cool. Do I have stingray missiles? I don't. Our troops to try to bring one of those things back here in one piece. Much less alive. Well, we're gonna bring one back soon in dozens. So now we have some stingrays. Maybe a little too late, but it's all right. Let's go ahead and scan on, I guess. Laboratory in three days. Yeah, I think just in time. But hopefully we will shoot these guys down without needing to. Uh, hopefully shoot this down without needing the stingrays. But if we do, it's just the way. To we're in pursuit. Let's go. Big hits. I meant for our interceptor, not the UFO. Contact Where you can lost. not hit it. Contact detected. What about you, Great Dane? Feel like hitting the UFO today? Enemy is padlocked. One more, come on. a little too close for my comfort to be honest but we have a small crash site scout let's get into this and pick a team for this urban block so this is the destroyed um, destroyed city map line uh, let's see we want to start leveling up our assaults and we want to start leveling up some classes here so let's we're going to start limiting the rookies that we're taking, but we do want to still take a couple rookies on this. They're guaranteed to level, so I mean, why not? Um, I will take Catnip. We want to get the Rocketeer up as quickly as we can. We'll take Beagle. And who else? What do we not have? We have a Sniper, Engineer, Gunner, Assault, Rocketeer. We still need a Medic and a Scout. And an infantry. I guess I could take. Let's uh, let's put Beagle on the back burner for this one. We can level him up later. Let's get an infantry going and a scout. So we want high movement, high mobility for a scout with decent health. Rainbow Rage, you're just too low on the health, really. Although I might still make you a scout. We'll see. Copper top. So it's between Copper Top and Rainbow, really. Although I could do Osiris as a scout. Let's do that. Let's make Osiris a scout. Sorry, buddy. And then 
then we'll turn someone into an infantry here who wants to be an infantry. Rainbow, you want to be an infantry? Is that right? Kind of want someone balanced for an infantry. It's a very balanced class. They mostly just sit there and shoot. Power thirst. I should make him one. Let's go with Argon. He's got decent aim. He's kind of just as balanced as you can get. Well, she is. So let's do Argon as our infantry. And then we need some rookies loaded up. So let's get some rookies in on this. So now we're going to start taking the 4 health, 14 movement, I'm thinking. Like Attila, Pandemonium. And then I think David Bowie is probably going to have to run on this one. Westwood. Yeah, we're taking Westwood. Alright, so here's your team. We got uh, Osiris here as the scout. We're going to give you... I would take a marksman rifle, but... Eh, wouldn't be the worst idea. Let's go ahead and take that. But uh, we'll get you... Battle scanner and ceramic plate. Argon, you're definitely just going to be shooting people from... A stationary position so we're gonna get you a smoke grenade and we'll get you a ceramic plate as well give you a little more health Attila your rook yeah, you can keep the carbine but we're taking the laser sight give you a flashbang and a grenade oh do you have tack armor good pandemonium could keep a flashbang and a grenade on you I guess yeah it looks good Westwood, you can take the HE. So everybody's pretty much loaded up the way I would want them, so. Uh, could take another smoke, just in case of too many drones, like the last mission. Although I'm expecting sectoids now. We need another med kit, actually. Um, hmm. Could withdraw the battle scanner. Let's do that. Let's withdraw the battle scanner and just give you a med kit. You're going to be playing kind of sniper role. Osiris, so catnip on the rockets. So we got our two med kits, two smokes, flashbang, HE. This is your team for this urban block small scout. Let's get into it. Prepare for deployment strike. It's right on top of our base. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. It looks like the UFO went down in a densely populated area within the city limits. Let's just hope everyone on the ground stays clear. All right, so Operation Spectral Giant, that's where we're heading in today. Uh, as soon as this loads. This map is, uh, this map's not terrible. It's just, yeah, there's a lot of flanking opportunities. There's plenty of cover, I'll give it that, but a lot of high cover positions. Gosh, everybody's pissed. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike One is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike One is cleared to attempt the breach. All right, so that will be it for this episode. When I return, we'll go on Operation Spectral Giant. Until then, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.